Taliban regime is coming to an end. When it comes down to it, the future of Afghanistan is for Afghans to determine. A signature, a handshake, and with that, the beginning of the end of America's longest war. The United States and the Taliban have signed a peace agreement that sets the stage at ending nearly two decades of bloodshed in Afghanistan, which began in the aftermath of the September 11th attacks. Now, if we look at this war by the numbers, it's cost more than $750 billion. It's killed tens of thousands of people, including 3,500 American troops. Under the deal, all U.S. troops would leave within 14 months. But their future depends on assurances by the Taliban that it will deny terrorist groups sanctuary. This agreement will mean nothing. And today's good feelings will not last if we don't take concrete actions on commitments and promises that have been made. For President Donald Trump, it's a chance to make good on his promise to bring troops home, which could help him win re-election next year. I'll be meeting personally with Taliban leaders in the not-too-distant future. I really believe the Taliban wants to do something to show that we're not all wasting time. If bad things happen, we'll go back. I let the people know we'll go back, and we'll go back so fast, and we'll go back with a force. But the agreement also hinges on complicated talks to come between the Taliban and the Afghan government on power sharing in post-war Afghanistan. Those negotiations are expected to start soon. So the agreement with the Taliban is based on conditions. Um, the important condition is for the Taliban to abandon violence. There are doubts over whether it will lead to lasting calm. With the signing of this agreement, the war in Afghanistan will not finish. We will have war. This war will only transform in nature, size and players. Hours before the deal, though, the Taliban ordered its fighters in Afghanistan to halt attacks, in which dozens are killed daily. That road towards peace uh, will be hard and long and difficult. But at the same time, we all know that the only way to reach lasting peace in Afghanistan is some form of negotiated political settlement. U.S. lawmakers remain cautious about the deal. In a letter to senior American officials this week, nearly two dozen Republicans asked for assurances that you will not place the security of the American people into the hands of the Taliban and undermine our ally, the current government of Afghanistan.